Good morning, and thank you so much for waking up with us here on Live Now from Fox. I'm Jean A. Francine, here with you for the next few hours to give you all of your breaking news alerts, top stories, and of course those live events here with you on this Sunday morning. As we come on the air, we are following breaking news at this hour as it relates to the Israel-Hamas war. Uh, the video on your screen, courtesy of Israeli Defense Forces. This is the latest video they've shared with us here on Live Now from Fox, showing us that aerial view for that um, hostage uh, raid that happened, that operation that they had to rescue those four hostages. We do have new information this morning as it relates to that event. According to our content partners over at the Associated Press, they're saying at least 274 Palestinians were killed and hundreds more were wounded in the Israeli raid that rescued four hostages held by Hamas. They're getting this information from Gaza's health ministry, which if we want to put that into perspective, the Gaza health ministry is run by Hamas. The military saying its forces came under heavy fire during the complex daytime operation deep inside of the territory. Well, joining us live this morning to share the very latest on this breaking news alert, none other than national security expert with the University of New Haven, Ken Gray. Good morning to you, Ken. Always a pleasure. Good morning, uh, Janae. I have a pleasure to be with you again. Always great to have you. So we're following this uh, breaking news alert learning uh, from the Gaza Health Ministry. And again, putting that into perspective, the Gaza Health Ministry is run by Hamas, learning that at least 274 Palestinians were killed in this hostage rescue by Israeli Defense Forces. Let's put this into perspective because um, obviously there were lives lost to rescue these lives. Yeah, the, this was a very complex carried this off with uh, the combined forces of the IDF, the Israeli Security uh, Agency, and uh, their elite counterterrorism unit, uh, Yaman. And uh, they, they, they had to go into two buildings, one in which uh, the uh, Noah Argamani was being held hostage uh, on the first floor, and the other three hostages, uh, 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 Andre. Kozlov, Shlomi, Ziv, and Almag uh, Mir John were being held up on the third floor. So this operation had to have the uh, the rescuers go into the, the the town, go to these two buildings, enter simultaneously into these two locations, grab the hostages, neutralize any protecting forces, and then extract the hostages without them uh, being injured in the process. Hamas did not let this go uh, unopposed. Hamas tried to stop them from leaving, and that's why the casualty rate is so high, not because of the action of the IDF to, to uh, uh, take back the hostages, but by fighting between the IDF and Hamas trying to extract uh, these hostages. Uh, one Israeli uh, was killed in the process of carrying out this complex operation. That was the commander of the uh, counterterrorism unit, uh, Armand uh, Zamora. Uh, but as you say, the casualty rate on the Palestinian side was fairly high. Uh, numbers uh, range from less than 100 up to 274, depending on who you believe and exactly how it's counted. But again, the, the casualty rate may not be due to the actions just by the IDF, but instead by IDF and Hamas. Putting on the screen now, those four hostages that were rescued, that were in Hamas captivity. And again, you know, what you just mentioned, that's pretty much setting the stage for this controversy. We've seen protests erupt, one happening at the White House yesterday when people were demanding a ceasefire. And they are saying several Palestinian lives have been lost. But if we are completely honest about the situation, we know from the very beginning, the IDF has said they will not stop until Hamas is defeated. Nevertheless, uh, several casualties ensuing from this. Yes, uh, so uh, the, the problem here is that Hamas uh, is trying to obtain the entire area uh, as Palestine. They want to remove the Israelis from Israel and have that entire uh, land to, to be Palestinian. 
Israel, on the other hand, is facing a problem that Hamas continues to, to harass the Israelis and that uh, their goal is to neutralize, to remove Hamas as ever being a threat again. And so it's hard to negotiate with one side that you plan to uh, eradicate, that you plan to totally neutralize. Uh, and that's the, the reason why these these negotiations are having problems is because there's two completely separate end goals in mind. Israel to protect Israel from uh, continued problems with Hamas. Hamas's uh, end goal is to get rid of uh, the Israelis. There's also concern this morning, Ken, of retaliation by Hamas or any other organizations that are upset by these uh, upwards of 274 Palestinians killed. We know there is a lot of focus on those hostages that were released and also, um, you know, their health and everything. And maybe I shouldn't say released, rescued, because we know they weren't released voluntarily. But the possibility of retaliation and how that relates to national security, if you could put that into perspective. Yeah, the uh, negotiations here are trying to work towards a ceasefire, a plan that will uh, leave Hamas still intact. Um, and uh, in the process of exchanging Palestinian prisoners for the hostages that were taken on October 7th uh, to be held as bargaining chips, um, uh, Israel is trying to, to uh, eradicate Hate, uh, Hamas to try to neutralize Hamas as a future threat, but they are having to do so uh, under the 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 the, the external problem uh, pressures from the world, and so uh, Israel is in a hard position here of trying to carry out their operations at the same time that they are being brought under pressure not only by the UN but also specifically by President Biden who has been causing uh, the Israelis to uh, have a hard time carrying out their uh, operations against Hamas. Ken Gray, always a pleasure having you here on Live Now from Fox. We appreciate you joining us for this breaking news alert. Of course, we'll be checking back in with you shortly. And I